Hi kangaroos, Miss Adriana here. Um, this week we are learning about the Arctic and today I wanted to read to you a book called um, The Way Home for Wolf by Rachel Bright and Jim Field. So it's a book about a wolf named Wilf and he doesn't, wanna, doesn't want help from anyone and whatever it is, he can do it all by himself. But when he finds himself lost and alone in the chill of the Arctic night, Wilf discovers that sometimes we all need the helping hand of a friend. So, again, this book is called The Way Home for a Wolf Named Wolf. There we go. Ready? As a rainbow of lights flickered soft in the night, dusting diamonds of ice in a desert of white, the wild whipping wind, it whistled its tune to a howling of wolves in a shimmering moon. And the loudest oh in this echoing song was a wolfling named Wilf at the heart of the throng. He loved to be fierce and longed to be grown. He liked to try everything all on his own. Look at me, I am big, I am tough, he growled while he showed off his strength and practiced his prow. Want to jump on the puffin. One night it was time for the wolves to move on. New folks had moved in and their shelter was gone. So they left right away to find a new cave. They would have to walk far and they'd have to be brave. Let's go, shouted Wilf. I am ready to lead. You're too small, laughed the wolves. It's an elder we need. One day they advised, you will guide from the front. I suppose, murmured Wilf with a huff and a grunt. So he wanted to lead the pack. They struggled through snow as high as their flanks and leaped over rocks as they scaled icy banks. Wilf gave his all to keep pace and keep up, but strong-willed as he was, he was still just a pup. You can see him all the way back here, trying to keep up with the wolf here leading the pack. Look up on this mountain. He kept dropping back with each clamber and climb as the pack journeyed farther away all the time. Exhausted and breathless, he strayed off the track when a blizzard blew in. Oh no, is he up there? And see in the icy mountain, it's snowing. And you guessed it, he lost his way back. How do you think he'll get back? Let's find out. Wilf longed to howl, help, and to holler it loud, but his throat was too hoarse and his heart was too proud. He lay on the tundra, his tail curled up tight. A blanket of stars was his bed for the night until... Look how he tried to keep himself warm. He curled up there. Let's see. Crack! Oh, went the ice. Crack and creak. Wilf jumped to all fours with a deafening shriek. He stuck out the claws on every limb. He had to hold on because wolflings can't swim. What's going on? He was laying on ice. Then he fell and he fell rolling and spinning. It felt like the end, but was just the beginning. He ended up falling through the ice down into the water. How do you think that water feels? Since somebody down there had, headed, had heeded his scream and he swooped from beneath like a watery dream. I'll help you, she called. Just reach for my horn, a majestic and magical sea unicorn. Wilf's pride washed away and he stretched out a paw as she lifted him gently back into the shore. So the sea unicorn saved 
helped him. She heard him. It's like a Norwalk here. Don't worry, she sung before dipping her bro her brow. Mr. Friend, my friend, Mr. Walrus, will help you out now. And there, right behind him, a huge tusky fellow lifted his whiskers and let out a bellow. To the ridge, he proclaimed with his chin in the air. My friend, mighty muskox, will take you from there. And with rafting of fish and a very loud snort, their journey was made and their travel seemed short. So now, Mr. Walrus was taking a look. And there, sure enough, on the ridge was the ox who took Wilf as far as his friend. Arctic fox, who followed his nose through the trees to a friend. A goose, who guided him, honking too. So you have friend from the Arctic fox, the goose. Let's see where the goose takes him to. This ancient moose. The moose knew these wilds like no other soul. He was steady and true in pursuit of their goal. And as twi twilight closed in, Moose sang out a call to a flittering, fluttering, tiny fur fluff ball. A bear moth who showed Wilf the rest of the way to the place where this wolfing most wanted to stay. How does he look there? Oh, these animals from the Arctic are help being helpful. Thank you, Wilf waved as he rejoiced his pack, rejoined his pack, and the wolves howled with pride that their woofling was back. They huddled him in and cuddled him close, and fussed over which wolf had missed him the most. Wilf, he knew then, that when all come together, the darkest of times are easy to weather. He was reunited with his pack, thanks to all the Arctic friends. So he bowed to the Norwal ox, walrus, and goose, and vowed to the fox and the moth and the moose, if I ever meet one who strayed off their track, I'll help them along by guiding them back. And true to his word, Wilf is different now, and his world seems much smaller and warmer somehow. Since wherever life takes you, wherever you roam, here you, you can see, there in the, the lights, all the different animals that helped him. Wherever you roam, we're all just a handful of friendships from home. All right, seems like he found his way back to the pack thanks to some Arctic friends, some animals help. So this book was called The Way Home for Wolf. Um, all right, friends, well, I will uh, hope to be reading you guys more books soon. Hope all is well. Miss you. Love you. Bye, kangaroos.